guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be unboxing Graymore's Physical Collector's Edition. I honestly had no idea when this was supposed to be here because of course there's been a lot of delays lately. But it has finally arrived today. It did come out on PC on the 26th. It is currently the 29th so I'm pretty happy about that. That is why there has been no Let's Play of Graymore yet. I'm probably going to be recording that in a couple of days so hopefully later this week it will be out. Before we get into this I want to go ahead and say I didn't know if I was going to get this one. So in the past I've gotten Morrowind and Somerset's Collector's Editions. There was not one for elsewhere. I want to say they ran about $90, which for a Collector's Edition was actually pretty cheap. They came with a statue, an art book, of course the game, a steel book, a poster. And then as I said, they didn't have one for elsewhere. But once again for Graymore we have one, but there's no art book. And it's like $50 more expensive. They give you some coins, but it looks like the coins are the ones that they give out at events anyways. I have these two elsewhere coins from QuakeCon. So I was a little bit like, eh, on that, but I, I feel like they didn't release the elsewhere one just because of the cost. It probably just wasn't worth the cost, and of course so many people were like, we want the collector's editions back, where are those at? I feel like that's why they raised the price. People still have a right to be upset about that though. I was personally skeptical, but let's just go ahead and get into it, see if that was worth it. Now, I don't know if console players are going to be getting theirs yet. I should pay attention to what I'm doing or I will probably stab myself. Yes, cut towards yourself, that's what you want to do. I was honestly a little bit worried because, um, of course you can probably tell I ordered it off of Amazon and they hadn't really been updating me. Like once it got delayed past the original release date, they didn't give me a shipping date until it was actually shipped out. And some people were saying theirs wasn't supposed to get there from other stores until like, I heard as late as like June 15th, so I was like, really? I got content to make, come on. But luckily it's here now, so it's all fine. I wasn't that upset about it anyways, I- the world's a mess right now, so I, I can't- I can't be mad about it. Not that I'm one that usually gets angry about that sort of stuff anyway. Okay, we're opening it up. Let's- ooh. I'm excited. I'm always excited about the boxes too, I'm gonna mess up my whole recording situation here. Um, but I'm a little bit concerned. Because, as you can tell, on the top of that shelf, there's a lot of boxes. So I have no idea where this one's gonna go, but we'll sort it out later. Alright, so in this box we will have the Vampire Lord statue, which is, of course, what I'm most excited about. Set of four collector's coins. Like I said, they give these out for free at events. Exclusive steelbook map of Western Skyrim, Greymore chapter, and one month of ESO+. Plus. I think we also get some digital things too. I, uh... Need to redeem that. Last time they sent it to my mom's email, so... But let's pull this baby out! Oh, that's the back of it. We're gonna be seeing the back first. Alright. Grand reveal. It's beautiful. It's just like how I figured it would look. I, I know I can't be the only one that just... appreciates a good box. And so I will allow you all to see it in its full glory. Very, very beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the in-game stuff. I think it comes in the pre-order stuff, too. That's the stuff they usually email to you. That was another thing about, um, <laughs> ordering it through Amazon, which Amazon sucks anyway. I just didn't want to pay shipping on top of this. <laughs> but, uh, they didn't actually charge me until they shipped it. So, ESO was allowing people, like, temporary access that had pre-ordered the physical, but I didn't have any proof of purchase, so I didn't even try. It's letting me peel this off, but I'm a little bit scared about it, so I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be careful. I, I will need it on both sides. Should I just cut it? I just really don't want to rip it. I should have grabbed a knife. I'm always ill-prepared for this. Alright. Now, let's flip it back over, and hopefully we can just swoop this off. It looks like it's also a very beautiful box on the inside. Oh, I'm so excited for this expansion. It's gonna be so edgy. Now, how does it want us to properly open this? Like this? I can only assume, this is a little bit awkward, I don't really have much to set it on, but it opens like that. There's something at the top. Please read before removing the items from the tray. Okay. Press them here while removing the bottom coins. Then press from the bottom of the vacuum tray. Please take care and do not use scissors. Then we will retire the scissors, goodbye. All right, so first on top, if we can just open that up a little bit, it looks like our steel book is right there. Probably should have set up a second camera, but eh. there will never be any professionalism on this here channel. Now, I might need to actually pull out this whole thing before we can get the steel book out. It looks like I will need to separate it. Sorry for hitting my mic there. So we will go ahead and 
carefully attempt that. Okay, it's almost out. You can't see it, but I assure you it is. This is now a full body experience, as I'm holding it with my feet and holding it out with my hands. It has led us to great success. Okay, so we can't... Do you mind? We can't see him yet. But I feel him. I guess we need to just pull it apart. Oh, it's strong. Oh, it pinched me. I got one. That's probably the hardest one too. This just tried to fall off onto my toes. Ooh, it's hefty. It's very beautiful. Let's just go ahead and get a close up of that. Of course, it's going to be reflecting a whole lot. But it's, yes, very beautiful. I assume it has my code and the disc on the inside. Oh. Okay, there's actually no disc with this one. I think the other ones actually had a disc, but there is a spot to store the coins. I'll probably just be setting them on my shelf, but that's nice to have. I guess we can go ahead and get this map out then. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this. Our whole house is posters. Ooh, that's spooky. <gasps> is it bigger than the other ones? Maybe not. I thought it might have been. It's definitely still very creased. It's going to be hard to show it all on camera. I gotta peep out from behind it to make sure you guys can actually see it. But yes, that is very beautiful. But let's be real, we are here for the statue, so let's continue our struggle with that. Actually, I don't think it's gonna be as hard now. It's always just that first one, you know? And apparently the first one on this side, also hard. But I have it halfway open, we can kind of see his hand. It's beautiful, okay. Okay, it is a little bit. Hold on. So this is the Mafala statue from Somerset. As you can tell, it's very like, it has a lot of shading, I guess, on it. It's a lot darker. It has a lot more contrast. Let's just get into the art talk. But this one, oh, I can actually pull it out really easily. That was satisfying. I feel like I struggled with that, especially with Mafala. I think I did with the Colossus too. But this one is much more flat. It looks a little bit more like it's made of stone. Well, this one looks like stone too, but it's just... Y you see the difference? You see what I'm talking about? It's just more flat, but it definitely has a really good weight to it. The detail on this guy is amazing. I will be giving you uh, closer shots in a moment. Oh, and it has little little pads at the bottom so it won't slide around. Do you have that, Mafala? She does not. It feels very solid. I like it. Let's get a close-up of him. I don't feel like my webcam is doing him much justice, but he is very, very beautiful. I'll give you a slow turn around. Very nice. I... I... I love this a lot. I was really excited about this one, so. Don't know where I'm gonna put him. He might hang out where Mafala was. Mafala might have to move to our living room like the Colossus did. Either that or I'm gonna have to rearrange these shelves are getting kind of crowded. Oh, these coins are much bigger actually, which I think sounds familiar. I feel like I heard somewhere that they were going to be. Like this is the one I got at QuakeCon for free. This one's the one that comes with the collector's edition. And as you can tell, well, maybe I should get the same side. It is much bigger. <laughs> I feel like these are a little bit more realistically sized though, but with these you can see the detail better, of course. It's kind of hard to show off coins, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Okay, it's focusing a little bit on it. There we go. There's the head side. And the tail side. That is, of course, the elsewhere one. Now I am excited because, of course, I only had the elsewhere ones. So now we get all of them. Then here is the Somerset one. Beautiful. I did not have this one, so I'm really, really happy about that. So very pretty. Then I guess we'll get the Morrowind one next. Okay, it said to press from the bottom of the tray. We'll try that to get the bottom coins out. Am I strong enough? I don't know. Like, I'm doing the thumb thing and it's just, mm. Wait, wait, there we go, okay. All right, so yes, we do have the Morrowind one next. We got a little Vivek on it, beautiful, beautiful hand on there. And lastly, we have the Skyrim coin. So let's see if we can get that out a little bit easier. The answer? Probably not. Like, look at this. Ah, not, not nice. <laughs> Given I'm also a wimp, but like they really did not want these coming out during shipping. I'm glad, but oh my God. My fingers are not strong. Why couldn't they have packaged them in the steel book? Like I'm doing the thing it's telling me to do. It's just like, I kind of have nails, so it kind of gets in the way and I feel it's somewhat working, but um, wait, wait. I think I got it past the thing. Finally, <gasps> yes. Uh, that took entirely too long and my fingers are dead now. But let's get a close up of the Skyrim coin, huh? Look at that. All worth, all the pain. Ooh. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it does have some of the like fuzz like stuck on it. Let's get that off. But yeah, that is everything that came with the collector's edition. I I do think, like I was saying, I I do love this statue a lot. But I just I like how this one looks better. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I like all the shading and whatnot on this one. This one's just a little bit more flat, but it's still definitely beautiful. It actually, now that I'm getting a better look at it, it almost looks like it's kind of coppery, but with the, I don't know what you call that, is it like oxidation of copper that kind of turns it bluish, so like the Statue of Liberty, you know? That's almost what this looks like, actually. I'm just kind of noticing that, but you can, you can kind of see it in his armpit right there. A little bit more coppery in places. Okay, I respect that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, if you think it was worth the- I think I paid 140 for it. I don't remember what it was before tax and I didn't have to pay shipping on it. I think if you ordered through Bethesda, you did. So that would be even more. Let me know what you think. Like I said, it's pretty solid build. I do like it. I like the coins. I just- I really like the art book, so... Like, as you can see, I have, like, the Morrowind one here, the uh, Somerset one here. I like having those on display too, but the coins are definitely cool. I am glad that they're bigger. They have a nice weight to them too, like nice and metally. But yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.